I'm Pete, and today we're eating like Trisha Paytas. Hey, I'm so skinny. Like, I wish I could talk, but like, I'm too busy being skinny. Bye! You guys know, when I eat like someone, I don't just eat like them. I do everything like them. It's time to try Pamela's workout. It was time for Lay Walnut to turn into Lay Tan Walnut. Time for the skincare and makeup. First step to eating like Trisha? Lip filler. For both of us. Oh my god. <laughs> Before I show you the really good stuff, we gotta get into the meat of this video before we put meat into my lips. Oh, all right, so enough talking about salami. Let's talk about fish. Trish like fish. Oh. Favorite YouTuber on this planet of Mars. Trisha has recently lost a lot of weight, and I'm not just talking about that baggage we call her ex boyfriend that used her for clout. <clears throat> she has seriously lost a lot of pounds off of her body. Now, I've done a lot of research, about five seconds, and these are the three things I've discovered. Number one, she does keto, but very loosely. So keto is a type of diet where you don't eat a lot of carbs. Instead, you eat a lot of fat and protein. Love is a baked sweet potato. Number two, she occasionally does OMAD, which is a type of dieting, fasting lifestyle where you only eat one meal a day. Um, usually it's dinner and usually it's pretty big. And number three, she really likes her dry turkey. Like, oh my God, dry turkey, bacon, celery juice, and occasionally fast food. <clears throat> Although she promotes other brands that help you lose weight, I think she really did the nitty gritty hard work all by herself because no matter how many laxatives you take and supplements you take and vitamins you take, if you want to lose weight at the end of the day, it's up to you and your mouth. The first thing I did to eat like Trisha was go get celery juice. So I went to Joe and the Juice. It's like a popular juice place here. Just talk to them and be like, I'm so sorry. Can I please get a juice that's just celery? It's not on the menu. They'll look at you funny, but at the end of the day, it's your health. Now celery juice has been known to have a lot of benefits, including clear skin, better digestion, healing inflammation, cleaning your room, putting the toilet seat down, and making you an Instagram model, supposedly. Now the celery juice was pretty good, it wasn't gross, but these benefits have been disproved by saying that the bioavailability of these compounds actually really isn't there. For some reason when someone else does it and it's in a really expensive juicer and you don't have any of those little strings that you can floss your butt with in the celery, it tastes yummy. If you try to make celery juice at home and it comes out stringy and you feel like you're flossing, now, usually when I try people's diets, I also try the things they do, like lip filler and the sponsors they like, like FabFitFun. I found out that FabFitFun is actually a subscription box that only comes four times a year. It's only full-size products. You get to pick your products, and it's only $49.99. I asked them to sponsor this video so I could get you guys a discount code, and they did. I got a code. The code is walnuts10. You get $10 off. You don't have to use my code. You could use Trisha's code. You could use anybody's code. Just please use the code and get your 10 bucks off, like hello. The other reason why I really wanted to work with Fat Fun is that they support a lot of charities and also a lot of women founded companies and I always look for good brands to like support. So all the products that you've seen me using throughout this video are in the Fat Fit Fun box and you can get it. Whoa. Um, it's a great value because just the hair straightener I got, like this hair straightener was $80 where the box is 40 total. You know, like just the value of one item is more than the box itself. They ship to America, the UK, and Canada. So this time it's more inclusive of all of us. In true Trisha fashion, I have leftover spray tan all over my legs, so your girl needed to exfoliate. I ended up using the exfoliating sugar cubes and the flavor juice cleanse. It actually smells like a juice cleanse. And you don't have to use a whole cube every time you want to exfoliate. You just take the little cube and you scrub, scrub, scrub. It smells like sugar. It smells sweet and delicious. Nick sniffed my leg the other day as he does, you know, when he wants to like mar my off like he has in the past. On her ankle. At least I thought it was chocolate. And then I go over and like, I went to lick it just to be like hey babe what's uh, uh, just to be gross funny right and then I tasted it and it was fucking marmite <laughs> and he was like wow you smell like a juice and I was like you're welcome I then shave only one part of my leg and then proceed to put on lotion on my entire body this is the human plus kind body souffle it's an apricot oil and shea butter whoa I mix it with my fake tan I just mix it all around and I put it everywhere I fake tan in the morning I fake tan at night I fake tan when I'm sleeping I fake tan when I'm doing Pilates I just like to be not my natural skin tone color I try to get my leg in the shot but it didn't work out too well I almost slipped. You're welcome. I try to protect my hair as best as I can 
like I only wash it once a week when I do wash it I use a special pink towel that dries it really good to protect my hair from all the heat that I put it through I put on a heat styling spray it felt nice my hair was like wow B you've never treated us to a styling product before I think it did really protect my hair it made it a lot softer and smoother and then I went to go straighten my ramen noodles now this straightener is originally $80 the price of this box is $40 hello that's a great deal then it was time for makeup time to paint this face in the fat fit fun box there is a Kate Spade lunch tote which is like an insulated bag I just use it for makeup. there's a lot of other options for this box there was also like a cheese cutting board with like a little marble insert that I saw like you get to pick the stuff you want in your box it can be between a 200 and 350 dollar value so you can pick all the expensive stuff they literally let you like it's it's I don't understand how they make money like I don't get it. I'm gonna investigate you found fit fun I will find out the truth this is the part where I want to do a relaxing cinematic application of foundation which utterly was complete trash and I realized it looked really creepy like the beginning of a horror film and then I decided to put on lip liner today because I have a little bruise from the lip filler which I'm going to show you guys in a few minutes the lip filler experience oh my god I can't wait to talk to you about it I have a little bruise it's totally fine it's not really a big deal like I like the lady that was injecting me she was so nervous about my bruise she's like you can put on lipstick tomorrow don't worry about it like it happens to everybody you can put on this lipstick that brand that this one's really opaque and I was like girl I have walked out of the house with a blue wig on backwards a neon dress and my thong sticking out and I didn't care do you think this little bruise is gonna stop me no I then decided that this look didn't have enough highlighter I decided to use the bubble bar earrings to give me like a little bit of bling this also came in the box like hello these earrings are originally $34 so bubble bar is like a brand that's really famous for the jewelry they do a lot of really aesthetic things like I vibe everything they have I'm getting really into jewelry lately like I mean, I don't have a lot of it, but it's pretty, you know, <laughs> like, if only it didn't cost a million dollars every time and I didn't lose it every two seconds, but I really like these ear cuffs and you can wear them two ways. You can wear them, like, up your ear or you can, like, let them hang down. After that transformation, it was time to go get lip filler okay let's talk about lip filler i'm so excited about this part you have no idea you guys ask me on instagram you can follow me there if you want to like ask me questions and talk to me more so the most common question i got was how much it cost so here i paid 200 pounds which is about 250 dollars for half a milliliter of lip filler i got half i did it didn't do anything like i wish i would have gotten a full milliliter so i had a dramatic before and after or i even noticed a difference let me know in the comments if you guys like even see a difference in me because i personally don't i keep staring at myself like some kind of narcissist i mean as if i'm not already but to see if i can tell a difference and i really can't i should have got more so how long does lip filler last it depends on how fast your body metabolizes things so juvederm the stuff i got has hyaluronic acid in it which is like a compound that your body naturally makes this is a synthetic form of hyaluronic acid but it mimics the one in your body so your body will naturally break it down over time so it lasts between six months and a year is what i was told but i've heard some girls say it only lasts them three months like they must have fast metabolism was <laughs> like probably the models or something then did it hurt yeah okay so it didn't really hurt i just had a panic attack going into it like i get i get like i don't talk about this on the internet because i like when my channel is just funny and like i go to youtube to like entertain myself but i get bad panic attacks like sometimes i just cry sometimes i feel like i can't breathe sometimes i get like really irritable like they come in a lot of different forms um so this one i was just really nervous about the needles like every time i get my blood drawn i faint i'm not kidding you i'm not being dramatic like i literally can't help it like i like some i feel like i can't breathe and things go white in my eyes and they like roll back and i, I I'm not like there anymore you know so the whole needle thing really freaks me out so first you put on numbing cream so you don't feel it that much and then she shows you all the needles and like the juvederm and everything and then she puts you back and you relax and it's just supposed to be I'm sure it's to some people like when I watch them on Instagram they're totally fine they can like talk they can like hold stuff I squeeze that stress ball like it was Kim Jong Un's balls oh god I forgot to breathe for a little bit because I was so anxious so I think when I did start to breathe I was like like oh I don't know like I the whole experience was totally fine I just personally had a panic attack there was nothing wrong with it it was like 
the lady was so kind and nice and like accepting to me she gave me breaks she gave me water she gave me snacks like because my blood sugar was low so i'm so dramatic like anyway yeah so it's totally fine it's not that scary if you're scared of needles then it's scary and if you have panic attacks then it's scary but if not you're good like it'll be fine the other question i got was like why did you get it i don't know i've always wanted to know what it felt like and what i would look like with lip filler and i have this thing where like i want to live the fullest life to the fullest or whatever so i want to try everything once in my life so i was like I might as well just do it. It's a lot more expensive in Las Vegas. Like when my girlfriends used to get it done in Las Vegas, it was like five or six hundred dollars all the way up to a thousand. So I was like, I might as well just get it done here. And then the last question about lip filler is, would you get lip filler again? Honestly, probably not. Like I, I don't tell a difference in my face. So like, why would I spend money to make myself look not different? I might go again to get a full milliliter in my lips so that I can see the difference and like actually have visual representation of what I would look like with lip filler. Um, and then if I didn't like that, I wouldn't really never get it again. I don't see a point in it. The most important question is, are there any risks? So there's a few risks. Um, my injector so kindly explained to me that it happens in 1 in 16,000 people because guys also get injections all the time. They just like are so much more subtle about it. If they break into a vein and they put filler into a vein, those are the horror story photos that you've seen with like the really messed up lips. But she said that when she puts the needle in, she always draws back a little bit to see if she's hit a vein. And if it's very bloody, then she won't inject there. If that happens to you, call an injector so they can dissolve it immediately and then go to the doctor. Don't go to the doctor first because a lot of doctors don't know a lot about Juvederm and lip filler and they won't be able to inject right in the spot. Like it's better to go back to the injector or a different one and be like, help. Um, my injector had it like, an emergency service she does if something does go wrong she's available 24 hours even for other people even for other people that haven't gone to her in the first place and it's free so it, it's important to stay safe and it's important to know the risk the problem with the risk is that she told me right literally right before I signed the consent form and before I started injecting me so the whole time I was like every time I would feel something in my lip I was like <gasps> is it happening <gasps> Am I one of the 16,000? Because you know bad shit fucking happens to me all the time. So I was like, it's possible that I'll be one of the 16,000. So yeah, I mean, it, nothing bad happened. It, I'm totally fine now. It doesn't hurt the next day. I don't even feel that I have a bruise. So we're totally Gucci. Um, I hope you guys are okay with me sharing everything. I just noticed that a lot of people had a lot of questions. And I just thought, hello. Um, I love that I looped in the story of like, I have to go do it for, for views. Heart to heart, I just wanted to go. But I love the angry comments because they help my engagement. So if you left an angry comment, hi, thank you. Okay, so let's talk about the rest of Trisha's diet. So she does something called OMAD, which is only eating one meal a day, which supposedly has a lot of benefits. I've read online and it says it could do things like make your blood sugar more stable, help you lose weight faster, curb your cravings to unhealthy foods. It could also help you consume a lot less calories, lose weight fast. A lot of people are really successful with this diet. I personally, mentally, was not good when I did it, so I cannot do it again. Um, I don't, I, my relationship with food, in my opinion, is pretty good compared to a lot of people's on the internet, and OMAD messed me up. So I wouldn't recommend it, but there are a lot of doctors that recommend it. So don't take my word for it. I feel like a doctor's word has more weight than mine. So do more research about it if you want. I'll put some links down in the description. I'm not gonna do that today. So for lunch, I'm gonna have turkey and bacon, which- Can you believe it? It was so hard to find. So Thick Daddy and I started on our quest to go find some turkey and some bacon, and I went where Trish goes, Whole Foods. That's a big bet right there. Probably. That's Big Ben. Yeah, right there. That's, oh my god, I'm so happy I finally got to see it. Yeah. Now, how cute is this little Whole Foods? I had a secret, sneaky detective film me the whole time while I was in there, and boy, did I feel cool. Let's just say he's a very good sneaky detective filmer. It's definitely not Nikolai. Nope, definitely has to be someone else. I went through the aisles, and I looked long and hard for turkey and bacon, and I literally could not find it. It was impossible. Do you see turkey? I don't, actually. Do they not eat turkey in England? Englanders, let me know. <laughs> Do not eat turkey. Whoa. Hi, okay, so I have gathered lunch. I went to a co-op and I got this turkey breast. So that's good, it looks nice and dry. And then from this like pastry shop, I asked them to make me some bacon, like two orders of bacon. Um, it was three pounds, so like $350. And let me, let's see how it looks. Whoa. 
Oh, that is Canadian bacon. That is not American bacon. Canadians, is this your bacon? Tell me the truth. Okay, so I'm in the car and I'm gonna have my bacon. Ew, it looks so slimy. Mmm, not bad. So this trick is actually marinated with sea salt and creamy Jersey butter. Super keto. In Europe, sometimes they put green if the macros are good, which is easy because you just pick it up, look if it's green, 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 or red, red, red. You move on with your life. You don't have to sit there and like think. Since we're in the car eating our lunch, we're gonna talk about some of the new fast food things I plan to eat one day when I'm doing a Trish Paytas fast food review. I love that she does those because I feel like she gets to try a bunch of fun things and I feel like she really enjoys them. Mmm, this is so salty. Oh my god. My ankles are gonna swell up. My cankles are gonna turn into squares. It's over from you guys. Some new fast food things that I've heard of that are coming out that are cool are the spicy chicken nuggets at McDonald's. Also, the Impossible Burger is apparently at some Burger Kings right now. Let me know if you've been to it and if it's any good. And I heard it's only $1 more expensive than a regular burger, so a lot of people should be trying it. I'm really excited. I looked at the Burger King in our area and they don't have it yet, but when they do, Mm, mm, mm. I love the Impossible Burger. I don't know how they make it. I'm sure it's full of chemicals though. Like I had a lot of people telling me how unhealthy like processed vegan meat was because of all the chemicals. Like for dinner, I've watched Trish do a lot of these like seafood Atkins keto steak mukbangs. I'll play a couple of them for you right now. Basically, it's just um a lot of meat, not really any vegetables, no dessert, just like very protein and fat based. Um, I've also seen her do like these crazy four pound lobster mukbangs that do so well on YouTube if someone. Someone can explain to me why i mean i guess we don't like often see four, four pound lobsters but that's what i decided to do today for dinner for dinner we're having a lobster and steak mukbang and look at how they delivered it in like a little glass jar which i think is so good this is what the steak looks like on the inside and then this is a lobster i never really eat lobster um i just don't get the chance to but i do know that if you have an option to eat lobster or, or crab i would always recommend crab because it's like a little bit tastier in my opinion and like with the butter it's just like really good i remember when i was little my parents used to take me to like joe's crab shack and we used to like sit there with the big buckets of like crab legs and crack them and i used to color and then go in that like playground or i would go outside and there was like sand because they wanted you to pretend it was like an ocean or a beach do you guys remember that or is that just a figment of my imagination because i haven't seen a joe's crab shack and i'm not even kidding you like 10 years but right now i'm doing a mukbang um which is very like i don't want to say difficult because that's like not the right word but like i'm not good at talking and eating at the same time so i don't know how they do it also what is the appeal of mukbangs is it the amount of food that you get to look at or is it the chewing or do you feel like you're having dinner with me because are you having dinner with me i'd like to know what is your name where do you come from are you gonna run away to the bathroom and then leave me here alone at dinner can you imagine getting to eat this regularly like not your birthday or something just regularly ordered lobster i've seen some like crazy mukbangs where they eat like entire crustaceans from the ocean i saw it on an h3h3 video i love h3h3 especially hila ethan whatever but hila is like oh i love her those videos are absolutely insane like i don't even know where they procure those like animals from like i don't what where what i will tell you about fresh fish and fresh lobster and things like that like if you want a whole fish or like you want really nice fish I don't want to pay a lot for it a lot of the asian markets like when i was in vegas i used to go to 368 market have a lot of fresh like whole fish for a lot lower price and anytime you cook the whole fish with like the head on and the tail on and you put like lemon olive oil and onion in it it tastes so good way better than a fish fillet in my opinion um and you can get it for like less than the price of fish fillet especially frozen fish fillet um i feel like stores like Costco and stuff like that kind of rip you off. I don't know. I mean, I guess not because you get a lot, but can I eat this bit? Like, I don't know. I don't eat lobster a lot. So if I'm eating it wrong, please don't make fun of me. Like, I just don't know. What? I get to see Mochi really soon. I'm so excited. He's been having the best time at summer camp with my dad. <laughs> it's so funny because I don't think my dad wants to like give him back. Oh my God. Is this the little poop thing? Is that the, is that their like poop cavity? I think it is. I'm going to take that off. My dad's like, BC, I don't want to give Mochi back. I love him so much. He is my best friend. I don't have a knife, so if you're wondering why I'm eating this like a caveman. Do you eat the claws? Is that a dumb question? Like, am I supposed to be able to like eat the claws and stuff? Am I dumb? I don't know. So a lot of restaurants here started doing glass packaging and recyclable cardboard packaging. I personally really like the idea of cardboard because I think it disintegrates. Um, I like the paper straws. I think it's cool. Oh my gosh, you know the other day when I was like, why is there a paper straw in a giant plastic cup? It didn't make sense to me, but a few of you guys actually told me, thank you, that some of the plastic cups are actually recyclable and some of them are made from plant material and they can be composted. So 
I petitioned to make all plastic cups from plant material that can be composted because I feel like that solves the whole problem. Thank you. I'll take my Nobel Peace Prize now. I feel like I've eaten too much meat today. Like, are my arteries gonna be clogged? I really wanna eat the potato, but I know that Trisha wouldn't. And I wanna eat the, um, the spinach and stuff too. It looks so good. <laughs> In conclusion, like I said before, although Trisha might say she lost weight with skinny teas and boom bod and whatever else, she did it herself. Unless you cut your calories down and you exercise and you eat healthy, nothing that is promoted as a weight loss tool can really do the work for you. Everything comes down to like health, calories, calories in, calories out, quality of food, sleep, nutrition, balanced hormones, vitamins, minerals, macros, um, fiber, things like that. So I'm really proud of her for doing it the natural way and doing it healthily it looks like. Nuts out. Oh my god, a vegetable!